Take a moment, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. See yourself sitting here. And we're going to reach down through the floor and through the basement and to the ground far beneath the house and push our roots down through the soil, around the rocks, around the boulders, as we go deep down into the earth, searching for waters that are far below. Keep going down until you find the bedrock far below your house. And well, there, move along until you find that pool of water, the waters of chaos, far below you and start sucking these waters in up through your roots. Bring these waters up into your feet and into your legs. Feel the waters move through your loins and into your belly and into your chest. With each breath, bring the waters further and further up into our heads and into our hands. Feel the waters come up and have them move throughout and fall back out through your hands and back into the earth. Feel yourself full of these waters from far below. And now reach up into the sky, up through the house and into the heavens. Reach up and find the star just above your head. And take that star and pull that light down into your body, into your branches and into your hands. Bring that light of order into your head and into your chest. Feel this light come down into your body, into your belly, into your loins, and into your legs, and into your feet. Fill yourself with the light from above and mix it with the waters from below. Fires from above and the waters below, order and chaos mixing within our bodies, filling us with all of this energy that we could possibly need. Riffle in it for a moment. Enjoy it. And when you're ready, send the light back up to the sky. Send the waters back down into the ground. But keep what you need. And know that if you ever need more energy, you can always reach down and reach up and pull it into your body. But for now, take a deep breath in and out in and out and when you're ready join us ready for magic earth mother you have who surround us and support us you who at least up here in the northeast have provided a very warm day for us again without you we would not be here. You nourish us. You give us a place to live for each and everything you do. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods. We are here to ask blessings from the kindreds. But first, let's hallow the hallows. Mighty well, you go deep into the earth and connect us with the ancestors far below. We offer you this over. Say, sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fire, you burn and transform and you send all that we offer up to the heavens. We offer you this incense and we say sacred fire burn within us. The mighty tree, your roots go deep into the ground, connecting us to the well and your branches go high into the sky, connecting us to the heaven. You're our crossroads between all worlds. We sense and as far as you, we say sacred tree 
grow within us. And my grove and all of our groves, you say, by the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. Gatekeepers all, you who watch over us through our, our rituals, all of you that have been called throughout the years by all of us, we call on you today to aid us once more, to be our messenger and take our voices far and wide, bring back what we need to hear, to guide us as we walk your elder ways, to watch over us, protect us as we walk the elder ways. Gatekeepers all accept our offering. And gatekeepers all, I ask that you join me in my house and in all of our houses. Let the well open as a gate to the underworld. The fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be a crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Now we make offerings to the temple. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our patrons and matrons, gods and goddesses of this place, you who are of this very land that we are in, we are to welcome. And God's and God's is unknown to us. Any that have taken interest in us, we offer you welcome. To all of you, shining ones, accept our offerings. Land spirits, burn feather, scale, and skin. Leaf and twig, stem and flower. All of you animal and plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, the fays, the whole the folk, and whatever other, whatever other names you desire to go by, we call to you and offer you welcome. Lancers, accept our offerings. And to the ancestors, you of our blood who have come before us, to all of you that we call on as friends, as heroes, and to all of you buried in this very land, ancestors all, accept our offerings. this point, if there are offerings to be made to any of the kindred, please make your offerings. Uh, the kindred, as I've asked many times before, and I'm sure I'll ask many times in the future, may we have healing, may we have calmer heads. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we offer to you one last time. But we ask that we receive blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now, mighty kindred, we ask what blessings do we receive? The shiny ones. They give us dagas, day. Land spirits, what blessings do we receive? Land spirits give us nausies, the need fire. In 
and signing one. Oh, sorry. And Ancestor. Look, let's see what we see. Oh, yeah. Isa. Ice. The first two are telling me to seize the day. I'm reading this as seize the day to get out of this habit, to get out of this stagnation that we are in. Action will break the stagnation. I think these omens are good. And my three cats here are not disagreeing. <sighs> do we accept these omens? I do. Then, ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you, and we ask the gussy tradition that gift calls for gift. We call on you to fill these waters, fill them with dagas, fill them with nalgies, fill them with isa. May we know the action that we need to take to get through the stagnation that we are in. Behold the waters of life. And now we thank all who have aided us. Ancestors, you have come before you of our family, of this place, of those we call friends and heroes. Each and every one of you for all they have done. Ancestors, we thank you. Land skirts, you fur and feather, scale and skin, the animal kin, Leaf and twig, stem and flower, the plant can. And this unseen spirits, the fae, the hold of folk, and all the other names you go by. For all that you do for us, land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, be you our patrons and matrons, be you of this place, be you known or unknown to us. Shining ones, for all that you have done for us. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeeper, you have opened the ways once more and allowed these messages to come through. For all that you do for us throughout all of our rights. Gatekeepers, we thank you. I ask once more you join your match with mine. Let the well become but water once more fire become but flame once more, let the tree become but a tree once more, not only in my house, but in all of our houses. Let the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, you surround us and support us. If you were not here, we would not be here. For all that you do, we honor you first, and we thank you last. Earth Mother, we thank you. And last but not least, go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>